I'm Ben Rawlings, Town and Country Environmental Pest Solutions, coming up to bee season. It's been called out to a concerned customer who thinks he's got honeybees in his wall, but I've come out and have a look and it's actually masonry bees. You can see one just there. Well, it's a type of solitary bee. Look a bit like honeybees. And what they found is these weep holes. Uh, and what they're doing is, is they have a ball of pollen at the back that they lay a single egg on and that will hatch out into a larva, they'll actually plug the front up. They'll hatch out and, and the larvae will grow and then they'll plug the front up with this sandy, soily clay cap that you can see. Uh, and that's how they complete their life cycle. And if you have these uh, bumblebee boxes up in your garden, made of garden canes on their side, then this is the sort of thing that you're trying to attract. But they're not aggressive. Um, they're solitary, so there isn't a big colony of them. So they'll just complete their life cycle. There's not really any need to treat them. And um, yeah, just an interesting bit of wildlife to see. There's another one there. I've not seen these type of weep holes on a house before, but if we look at this one, this is the one where they've obviously laid the egg and they've completely plugged the front up with mud uh, and when it develops it will break its way out. I've just come to a different part of the customer's garden he's actually got one of these bee boxes up and you can see that the, the bees are also using this and, and they've plugged up the end of some of the canes. We just wa keep washing a couple of seconds hopefully we might might see one go in and out they were quite busy here just now but as well as using this bug box which is what it's designed for we've also decided to make the home in his wheat poles the building there's one just coming out come back in again <laughs> 